Hello everyone and welcome back to another Die Cash Review. Today we have the man himself, Chase Elliott. This is the uh, 2022 Nashville race win. And uh, it's kind of odd and kind of awkward that uh, we're reviewing a race win car from Elliott in last year. And uh, he kind of missed the playoffs this year. Unfortunate. But NASCAR can't seem to let it go. They're still crying about it. But, I mean, dude, my Bowman didn't make it either, you know. I'm not over here crying on the outside anyway. But you know what? That's fine. Um, <laughs> but, no, they cannot stop posting about Elliott. And I don't know why. I get it. Fan favorite. Most popular driver. This, that, up, down, left, right. Okay, I understand. But there's a time to stop. And that time has been four months ago. So, I... Uh, I don't know, NASCAR just keeps posting everything they can. I saw a meme, actually, and I, I thought it was really funny. When Alex Bowman was out for a, uh injury, <laughs> when he returned, uh, people, or, or somebody made a meme, it's like, NASCAR be like, Chase Elliott's teammate, Alex Bowman, or Alex Bowman, Chase Elliott's teammate returns, you know, still involving Elliott's name, even though it has nothing to do with him. I don't know, I thought it was pretty funny, and then there was one, there was one that I saw that, like, uh, it was, it looks like an authentic car, like an authentic piece, and it said, uh, Chase Elliott's couch, and it had a picture of a couch, like, in the bubble where the car would have been, man, it's just, it's crazy how much they actually milk the Elliott name, it's just, it's, it's insane. But either way, this is a pretty awesome paint scheme. I mean, well, not even the paint scheme. The paint scheme's okay. The race win is what I meant to say. Uh, that looks good. So, definitely uh, had to pick this one up. Again, I've had it for quite some time. I know I'm tardy to the party on this one for a diecast review, especially with it being Elliot. I should have done it forever ago. But I kind of got behind. So, uh, with that being said, again, this is the Nashville win from 2022. We're going to pop this diecast out of the box and see how this bad boy looks because it's covered in confetti and I have a feeling this is going to be a pretty good die cast here's a die cast out of the box now I can only imagine how good it would look with the confetti on the windshields and stuff now I know I've said it a thousand times before but we need confetti on the 164 cars because it's possible and we need it and then Lionel dropped a freaking bomb on us they released Logano's car from Phoenix last year, covered in confetti. A 164 that wasn't Dell Jr. had a confetti on the windshield, rear windshield, and windows. That gives me so much hope. I really, really hope it's not just like a one-off thing, because it's happened to be a one-off thing before. Happened once in 2014, once in 2015... And now for 2022. Technically, it's a 2023 release, but it's for the 2022 season. So I'm going. I'm just going to count as 2022. So it was a one-year difference, and then like a what seven-year difference since we had confetti on the windshield. Now there was one car that had confetti on the name banner, but I don't count that because it wasn't the entire windshield. But yeah, I'm super hyped for that car. I almost thought about buying the uh, metal chassis edition just to review it early. Uh, but I'm telling you, man, it's going to be a good good car and then we got updated banners and stuff uh they got a little slot for the air vent they got the updated uh manufacturer logos and everything so nascar diecasts are starting to get really good and finally we get some change in quality and that's going to be fantastic speaking of fantastic check out that purple confetti that's awesome Com uh i almost said com purple uh purple confetti and white Looks really nice. There's a buttload of it. You can see Napa on the hood there. But this thing is so cake confetti. You can see some of the race wear underneath. Got the uh, Elliott banner right there. On the roof, we got some more confetti. Uh, not super heavy, but there's still some confetti there. Got the number 9 Napa know-how kind of covered in confetti there. I don't know why I said that. Kind of covered in confetti. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, covered in confetti there. And I, man, I, I, can, I can only imagine what the windshield banners would look like, man. That'd be so good. Or not even the banners. The windshields would look like, oh, God, that would be so good. Elliot right there on the rear name banner. Got auto parts or nap auto parts covered in confetti. Can't really see it, but it is there. This is a lot more cake than I thought it was. 
Got a little bit of race wear on the back end, not a whole lot. Camaro ZL1 Auto Care, or Nap Auto Care, a um, carbon fiber spoiler back here. You can see a little bit of paint chips in there, but it's not a huge deal. I got some confetti there on the tail light and everything. Valvoline, or the tail lights number nine, and the Chevy bow tie. Going on to this side, we have Unifirst Boyd Pitts, honorary pit crew member there. NASCAR, or not NASCAR Auto Parts, what in the world? Nap Auto Parts. With a bunch of confetti right here caked up on this kind of uh, kick out for the fender. Uh, whatever that memorial sticker is. Valvoline, Kelly Blue Book. One winner sticker. Oh, freaking cat hair. Jeez, why, what is that stuck on? Oh, it's stuck on the other hand. Okay, wait, right? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, we're good, I think, maybe. Get off, okay. Jesus, uh, my cat keeps jumping on my like leg. And I pet her, and then I put her down, and then now I have cat hair everywhere. So, Sorry. That's what it's like to have a cat. So, uh, Chase Elliott there. Got more confetti on the name rail. Service, I believe. Alex Alta, Cincinnati, Freightliner, Hooters, Mac Tools, and uh, Simons there. More confetti there. A Shock, Hooters, Lamar. Got some more race wear. Got the uh, rocker box down here. Got the exhaust. A little bit of confetti down here in Napa. Got the number nine. Uh, let's see, NASCAR Cup Series, Goodyear. Why does that Goodyear look so spaced out? What? Is that just me? But that Goodyear looks so spread apart in the text. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why it's like that. It's just kind of weird. So right here on the front end, we do have a carbon fiber splitter. We got the grill opening and everything. Got some confetti on there too. A little bit of race wear. We got these little yellow marks on the bumper. It reminds me of the uh, Dodge Charger and Challenger like bumper covers that everybody makes fun of if you don't take them off. Uh, so that's interesting. Whenever I get me a tra uh, Challenger, I will one day, I promise. I'm definitely taking those off. <laughs> I got the uh, carbon fiber splitter there with uh, some confetti all over it. A very small Hendrick Cars logo there. Got some more race usage up here on the front end. Just some, you know, normal rubber buildup and stuff kind of on there. Got a memorial thing here, which was not on the other side. Uh, so you got the number 9, got some more confetti on the rocker box and all over the side. Some on the uh, Napa there. Auto care, and it's just covered on this side. So it seems to hit uh, this back part pretty well in the front. Uh, but the sides weren't that covered, but these uh, these little kick-out points for the uh, wheel wells, those have some uh, pretty good uh, confetti cakeage right there. So that's pretty nice to see. It looks like it got a little bit more of a detailed... Uh, get bioethanol ring there. Got some more. It looks like maybe some uh, burnout markings right there because it looks like just some shredded up uh, tire tire marks. So or just kind of rubber laid out there. So I don't know. Uh, maybe that could be from the burnout. I'm not really too sure. Uh, but yeah, so this car is really nice. Uh, Kate confetti uh, looks very very good. I don't remember what the 124 looked like, but I can only imagine it's you know beautiful. But a very nice piece overall. I really wish. Uh, we had these uh, confetti cars long ago, or we had these uh, die casts that could get more of the uh, confetti on the windshields and stuff a long time ago. Uh, we've missed so many good ones just simply because we wasn't able to put the confetti on the windshields. But now that we're able to, hopefully we kind of get a lot more uh, that are caked confetti and they actually look really good. Because I'm telling you right now, if they are putting in more detail to these cars, the collections are going to go up, the numbers, the sales, the demand's going to go up. They're either going to be producing more die cast and qu uh, quantity, or more cars are just going to be going rare. So definitely uh, looking forward to what the future holds. Something tells me that Logano car was only a one-off though. Uh, hopefully not, but you know, maybe so. But with that being said, I do believe that will be all for this diecast review. So thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.